I don't know. I just really don't want to do this, Janice. I don't want to go in here and do this interview to try to get this job. Well, if you want to live and eat and pay your bills, you're going to have to go find a job. I guess you're right, but I thought way back in 2008, Obama promised us change, and I'm just wondering where that's at. I was supposed to be sitting on the couch watching Prices Right. I don't think so. And by the way, you're not dressed very appropriately. You don't have any hose on, and you got tennis shoes on with your dress, and you didn't put your makeup on very good. I guess you're right about that too, Janice. I'm not worried about that. I'm a natural woman, though. Maybe so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Janice. I really appreciate it. You're one in a million, and <laughs> I'm just going to... Get out this car and go get this job. Okay. All right, I'll be back. I'll see you. Bless her heart. <laughs> Miss Clemens was... Oh, yeah, 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 that's me, that's me. It's Clemens Walshawski. Okay. Miss Suzanne Clements Walshawski. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How you doing? Nice to see you. All right, yeah, let's crack a let's, let's go. All right, I'm ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, by the way, is this gonna take a while? Um, shouldn't take too long. No. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I have to um, make sure that I catch my story. Okay, um, daytime shows. My wife watches those. Um, she loves watching them. She's also into purses. Is that a uh, Liz Claiborne? Oh, no. Gosh, no. This is actually a Jan Claybrook. Um, have you ever heard their slogan? No, never heard it. Oh, it's to die for. All right, listen. I'll do it real quick. By hook or crook. No one better have took my Jan Claybrook. <laughs> That's pretty creative. Um, I'll have to tell my wife about that one. She, I'm sure she'll love it. Oh, you must, because you're doing her disservice if you don't. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, what kind of husband are you? All right, well, um, so have you had uh, many jobs in the past? Um, just a few, not too many. Um, my first job was... Um, an elephant trainer. Then I played um, minor league baseball. Then I was a babysitter. And that was harder than being an elephant trainer. And then I um, was an air traffic controller. Um, then I was a pilot and a stewardess all at the same time. That's real difficult though because sometimes you have to leave the cockpit while you're flying the plane to go give someone peanuts or a drink or something. Um, then I was a waitress. I was a nurse. Um, then, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I was a uh, professional rugby player. Um, then I uh, was a road worker. I Twisted the stop and the slow sign. I did that for a little while. That was really, really hot in the summertime. Um, then I was uh, ice road trucker. Um, that was fun. Um, I then I also let's see what else did I do. Um, I ran a multi-million dollar company that um, sold, uh, manufactured, excuse me, bubble gum. Then I also was a um, lion tamer. I got back into the whole animal thing for a little while um, and did that. That was fun. A little scary, though. Um, then uh, I sold Mary Kay and tractor parts. And then my last... And then I, um, then I sold... Uh, excuse me. Then I made cotton candy. Okay, making cotton candy. That sounds like fun. Um, of those few jobs, which one did you like the most? Making cotton candy. Okay, and uh, what was the one that you did most recently? 
making cotton candy. All right. All right. Well, this is a customer service position that you're applying for. Uh, you'll have a lot of contact with people. Uh, and the hours are pretty demanding. A lot of commitment re required for this job. Uh, it'll be uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, uh, with a one-hour lunch between 12 and 1. Uh, so how does that sound? I don't like the hours, the 8 to 5 thing. Um, first off, like I am not a morning person, so I um, get, like to get up at 10 because I like to catch hardies before they stop making uh, breakfast at 10.30. And so I like to order my chicken biscuit from them at 1029. Right. So, um, yeah, that's not going to work for me. And then um, also, too, like, uh, I have to watch every day. I have to watch the reruns of Oprah because she doesn't have a show anymore. And so I got to catch that. Okay. And what so time does that come on? That's four. So I can't be here till five. That's just too long. Okay. It's just too long. All right. My lunch break, I'm gonna need that to be an hour and a half, not just an hour. Okay. And I won't be able to do the whole Monday through Friday thing either. I five days a week. I it's I won't I won't be able to do that. That's no. It's a no can do. So what about uh? What about Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays? Um, yeah, because I can't do Mondays because it's a Monday. Um, Tuesdays will work, but uh, Wednesdays I have the bowling league, so I got to do that. Me and Charlie and um, Tony. And Jerome and Fitzgerald and and Peggy all go and bolt. Okay. So, um, yeah, you can't do that. That's that's like um, from like twelve to four we bowl. Okay. And Fridays. Fridays, um, I'm sick on Fridays. That's my sick day. Uh, this Friday is a sick day, or every day, every Friday is a sick day. Okay, I'll I'll keep that in mind. Uh, all right. uh, like I said, we deal with a lot of customers uh, in this in this job. Uh, a lot of people calling in and needing help. Uh, have you ever had to deal with an un unhappy customer before? And uh, if so, how did you handle that? Um. Well, I deal with unhappy people all the time. I'm unhappy, you know, and I deal with me. But um, as far as customers go. Um, yeah, in one of my jobs when I was a waitress, I did deal with this unhappy man one time. And, he, you know, he's very angry because he wanted pretzels and he didn't get pretzels with his meal. And um, he was getting very mad and frustrated. And so I just poured a whole pitcher of iced tea on him. Okay, uh, how'd that turn out? You know, I mean, I figure, you know, when a person gets mad, they're very heated, you got to cool them off. So I said, what better way to cool this guy off than pour a whole pitcher of iced tea in his lap? And it was Lipton, so it was one of the better brands of tea. So you at least got to, you know, give me props for that. Well... I'll keep all your information here on file, and um, and we'll be in touch. So when can I expect to hear from you? Uh, don't call us. We'll call you.